Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, Rodrigo. Good evening. Good evening, teach. Good evening, Jenny. Good evening, Luis Alonso. Good evening, Patricia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh, Carla. Good evening, Jose Vegas. How are you today, Rodrigo? I'm doing pretty good. What about you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. I like your shirt. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a lot. You're welcome. And uh, Mr. Alonso, how are you? I am fine, but uh, it's raining now here. It's raining. Oh my it's God. Raining. That's a blessing. Yes. That's a <laughs> blessing. Hmm? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. All right, and Luis Enrique, how are you today? I, I can't hear you, I'm sorry. All right. Okay, so it, it, it is eight o'clock. We're gonna start our class and uh, welcome to your uh, pre-intermediate class. Uh, this class is going to be held uh, from Monday through Thursday, and it's from May 30th to June 23rd. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yes. All right. And uh, tonight, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions. And uh, first, the, what I need to tell you is that, uh, um, INSA4 requires the, you to be on time 80% uh, of the class. So that means that the, they want you to have your camera on. Well, Luis also have the camera on all the time. Rodrigo has the camera yes. on and Patricia. But the rest of them, um, I would like to ask you if you can turn your camera on. So INSA4 can, uh, if they want to do an audit, uh, they would be able to see you and not give you an absent uh, because your camera is not on. Thank you, Stella. Thank you very much. And um, so every time we have a class, you have to have your camera on, okay? Please, uh, thank you, Rufino. Thank you, Jenny. You're welcome. Thank good you, Jenny. Evening, everybody. And good evening, good evening. Okay, so um, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, be looking at the four uh, uh, units over here. Um, the first three units, uh, well, five units. The first uh, three units, uh, we're going to take two weeks for them. The third unit, the fourth unit is going to take uh, our fourth week, and the fifth unit, our fifth uh, week. And after the second week, uh, we're going to have our midterm. So by the time we reach the next Thursday, not this Thursday, next Thursday, we're gonna have our uh, midterm. So we have to finish the, those three chapters before the Wednesday next week. So, and um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the exercise. I'm gonna give you kind of an explanation. If you have any questions about, uh, about a topic that you have not, uh, uh, you don't have it clear, I will be able to explain it to you and give you a little bit more information so you can have it uh, clear as clear crystal water, not as a horchata, okay, clear as horchata. So uh, <laughs> you can ask me any question at any time and uh, feel free to ask me as many questions as you want, okay? So okay. I'm going to ask you a few questions right now. And the question is going to be, what are you expecting from this course and why are you taking this course? So we're gonna start with uh, Luis Alonso. Um, well, I, 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 I hope uh, uh, I learn more. Okay. So oh, what the, are you expecting from this the, course? I learn more. Because okay. uh, I want to speak English uh, very well, but I speak uh, a little. Okay. 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 And there are four areas of the English language. Uh, we have speaking, uh, listening, reading, and writing. 
which no, area no. is the one that you need uh, the most help with um but i don't know but uh, i i i hope uh i i need um more in the speak speak the speaking and, part uh, and then speak for yes no no and what do you want? Why do you want to learn English? Excuse me? Why do you want to learn English? Um, I want to learn English um, because uh, I need uh, I need to speak with um, my families on the um, because I, I work in the in the in the other companies. This is, I, I need I need to speak English more. Oh okay. So so your job requires you to speak English. Mm, no more. Okay. A, a little bit. Just a little bit. Yes. Oh, all right. All right. Very good. That's a that's a good motivation, intrinsic motivation. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you very much, okay. uh, Luis Alonso, and Patricia. Patricia, the same questions. What do you expect from this class? And uh, what area of the English language do you need uh, uh, most help? Repeat, please. Sí, ya. Yeah. ¿Por qué estás tomando estas clases y en qué área de las cuatro necesitas más ayuda? En el listening, uh, writing, el speaking o el reading? En todo. Ok. 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 ¿Y, y por qué quieres aprender inglés? Eh, pues la verdad. Me gustaría, o sea, me gusta, pero me cuesta. Ok. Ok, y um, ¿por qué te cuesta? Eh, nunca lo había estudiado hasta estos cursos. Entonces, uh -huh. a veces lo entiendo. Me da bastante pena hablarlo. Eh, lo poquito, pues, así que ahí voy. Sí. ¿Te costó entenderme a mí? Eh, sí. ¿Y siempre es así? ¿Que te cuesta entender? Es poco. Okay. O sea, a, a veces sí entiendo, pero, pero sí me, me cuesta. No, ok, ok. Entonces vamos a trabajar en las cuatro áreas contigo, ok? Ok. Very good, excelente. Gracias. And Rodrigo, same question for you. Okay, perfect. I have started to study English because I really love the language. Also, I would like to get a good job on something like call center or something else. But and the the thing that I think I have to improve is my listening because something when I listen to native speakers, I am not able to understand all that they are saying, I guess. Okay, okay. Okay, so so I think what you need to help with is in the uh, pronunciation. The pronunciation, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, are you still the translating uh, in your head from English to Spanish um, or? Sometimes, sometimes I, I have been trying to stop translating on my mind. I'm just thinking in English, just thinking, and I have, I have been trying to, to get a English environment, environment. Okay. I just read, listening, watch all in English to okay. improve that, that thinking. Very good, very good, excellent, excellent. And um, um, 
So, so you're listening to music in English and you're listening, uh, you're watching movies in English? Watching and, uh, movies, series, all of, all, all of I can. Uh -huh. as, soon as, as soon as possible, I listen to English, yes. Okay. And when okay. I, I speak with myself in English, my thoughts are in English. Okay, very good, excellent, excellent. Good job, excellent. Thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you very much. And uh, Estela Lara, good evening. How are you today? Very good teacher. Excellent. And tell me, why are you taking this class and uh, what are your expectations from this class? Well, in Espanol. In Espanol? Okay. Responder en Espanol. Realmente me gusta, pero lo estoy estudiando porque realmente necesito salir adelante de alguna manera. Y ya que estudié en la universidad no pude, así que lo estoy estudiando por eso y porque me gusta. Una área que siempre me ha gustado, lastimosamente no siempre tuve la oportunidad para estudiar. Ok. Mis expectativas son eh, mejorarlo, eh, escuchar, aprender a escucharlo y a conocerlo. Ok. ¿Y por qué no te gusta hablarlo? No. Hi. Estela, ¿por qué no te gusta ¿Hola? hablarlo? ¿Por qué no te gusta hablarlo? Pues sí me gusta, pero soy un poquito cerrada. ¿Cómo decirlo? Un poquito tímida todavía. ¿Por qué? ¿Por No sé, maybe porque a veces pienso que lo diré mal, me equivocaré o no sé. ¿Y qué pasa si lo dices mal? No sé. Me, apenas aparte de que se van a reír de mí, me río yo solo de mí. ¿Se van a reír de ti? ¿Cómo está eso? ¿No pasa nada? Si te no equivocas, sé. ¿no pasa nada? ¿No pasa nada? Ok. ¿Sí? Entonces, uh, eh, la única forma que vas a aprender inglés, Estela, Lara, es hablándolo. No hay otra forma. De hecho, sí. Eh, en estos módulos anteriores he aprendido a abrirme un poquito más. Uh -huh. Porque, de hecho, al principio no decía ni media palabra. Uh -huh. Pero sí, estoy abierta a aprender y a abrirme un poquito más. Ok. Entonces, uh, eh, tratemos de, de hablar solo español. Inglés, yeah. Trato. Okay. It, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. Who cares if you made a mistake? That's the only way you're gonna be able to learn to speak English, and you never will find out whether you 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 know how to speak, or if you don't. Yeah. The only way that you're gonna find out is just by talking and talking and talking. Yeah. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay, okay, very good. And what area, Stella, is the 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 which area of the ling English language is the one that you need uh, help the most? Listen, listening, 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 and speaking. Speak, speaking. Okay, listen and speaking. Okay, so you're good reading. Maybe. Okay. Maybe, okay. Oh, well, maybe it's, it's, it's good enough. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Good job. Good job, Stella. Thank you very much. Excellent. And uh, Rufino, Mr. Rufino Milker, how are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine, good. Thank yeah. you. Well done. The same question for you, sir. What? Same questions for you. Why are you taking this class? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, I want to 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 learn more English. Uh huh. And more, more. Uh, I I have a problem in the um, listening and speaking. Uh, I hope I will hope uh, learn in the uh, present perfect. Uh, in my uh, it's difficult for me in the perfect perfect use use perfect perfect uh, I hope I will hope to learn more 
Okay, okay, very good, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Rufino. Thank you very much. And uh, Claudia, Iraeta, how are you today? Very fine, teacher. Very good. And tell me, why are you taking this class? Well, I want to speak like you, teacher. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you, you have to speak <laughs> better than me. And why do you want to speak English? Because I think it's, it's very important for my job. What do, you, what do you do for a living? Excuse me? What do you do for a living? I'm what? a lawyer. You're a lawyer? Yes. Okay, very good, excellent. And, and uh, where do you work at? Perdón? Where do you work at? Que si trabajo de eso, no como. <laughs> Donde trabajas? Ay, perdón. I work in inversiones a hacer. Okay, bien. okay. In, uh, in your job, uh, you need uh, to, to speak English with uh, somebody, with your clients, or? Mm, not tanto así, pero yo quiero. <laughs> oh, okay. Very good. Uh, excellent, excellent. Okay. You want to open your own firm and be able to help people, from, you know, tourists in the area of uh, legal area. Yes. Yeah, something like that. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, which area is the one that you need to help the most? Uh, speaking, listening, writing, speaking. reading, speaking. 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 Okay. Very good. And congratulations that you, you, you know, you're trying to speak and that's good because that's the only way that you're going to be able to learn it. Just speaking, speaking, making mistakes. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake. Okay. Very yes. good. Excellent. Good job. You, good job. Teacher. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. And, um, Gladys Campos. No. Okay. Tatiana. This. How are you today? Why same teacher? Very good. Why are you so serious, Tatiana? Okay. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. And tell me, why are you taking this class? Um, I would like to improve my English level. And can you hear me? I, I can hear you, yes, uh, very well. Okay, I would like to improve my English level because um, I think the English is the better uh, way to to apply for a better opportunity okay. of the job. Okay. And, um, and I would like to improve my speaking, my comprehension skills. Okay, comprehension yeah, skills? Only that. <laughs> okay, very good, excellent. Comprehension skills. Well, I, I think you have a very good accent. Uh, I like your accent and uh, um, I, I think it's good. not gonna be it too difficult to help you with that because you have a, a very good uh, pronunciation, good articulation, and uh, you're on the right way. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Because I think uh, now I speak English very slowly. Very slowly? I don't think so, Tatiana. <laughs> you're okay. doing very well. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. And Gabriela Cortez, how are you today? Good evening, my fine, thank you. Good evening, Gabriela. And uh, tell me, why are you taking this class? Um, I learned so much and I, I came and I, try to speak more and and I need a job in work in uh, speaking and writing okay so so
So you need to, on the writing part and on the speaking part. Yes. The reading is not a problem for you. No, reading, no. Writing, uh, only. Okay, good. T tonight we're gonna have, we're gonna read a lot tonight, okay? Yes, I try um, a little, I try little um, reading, I read in a, um, Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. News, okay. Every, whatever. Whatever. What else? Oh. <laughs> what else? Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, Yeni Sanchez, how are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my day was so very tired. Okay. My <laughs> goodness. So you, you you feel exhausted. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. And what do you do for a living, uh, Jenny Sanchez? ¿Qué hago? Perdón. Yes, yes. What do you do for a living? I am a system engineer. A uh, system engineer. Uh huh. Yes. Oh my God. Because my because my my eyes hurt. I can believe that. Yes, I can see that. Yeah, you work a lot, huh, in front of a computer. Yes, yes, exactly. Oh my goodness. And how many hours a day do you work? Uh, eight hours. Eight um, hours a day. And horas uh, efectivas, uh, how I say. Yeah, that's the regular. Uh, uh, your schedule are eight hours a day, yes. Yes, yes, exactly. That is a normal <laughs> schedule. Yeah, you don't work overtime, huh? Yes. Yes, no. No, <laughs> I don't understand the, the question. The oh, question. Okay, 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 very good, excellent. And tell me, why are you? Why do you want to learn English? Um, I hope uh, to make better my English. Okay. Uh, I, I I want I want only. I mm. like. Okay, you just want to improve your English, right? Improve. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, because I think uh, yes, you have a very good accent, and I like it. Uh, and uh, your pronunciation is very good. Thanks. You you're welcome. And thank you, Jenny. Thank you, uh, Mr. Luis Enriquez. How are you today, sir? How are you? Hello. How are you today, sir? Do you listen? Can you listen to me? Yes, yes, I can I, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Ah. Okay. It, it goes at the beginning. My sound was bad in my computer. I write I wrote for the chat to explain you, but I think all is okay now. Okay. And uh, tell me, why are you taking this class, sir? Uh, okay. I learning English because I think the the opportunity in Joe is you if I can talk in English, that mm -hmm. would be better for me. I think better for, for all the persons. For everybody. And, uh, everybody, yes. I think the I think I think the English is the language for business in all the world. Okay. And uh, I, I want to complete all the program for in, in Safor. Uh, I hope I can get that goal. Okay, so you hope that you can accomplish that goal. Yeah. Okay, okay, very good, excellent. Okay, eh, voy a hablar otra vez en español porque parece que las personas no me entendieron. Eh, 
Bueno, los que tienen la cámara encendida, sí. Insafor requiere que tengamos las cámaras encendidas por la hora de la clase, sí. Porque si ellos hacen una auditoría y ven alguna cámara apagada, lo van a tomar como ausencia, sí. Y cuando usted uh, aplique para otro programa de Insafor, ellos van a tomar en cuenta eso, que si usted toma las clases, pero que tiene las cámaras apagadas. Entonces, uh, prenda las cámaras de, de las 8 a las 9 de la noche, tiene que estar la cámara uh, prendida todo el tiempo. Si usted va a ir al baño, deje la cámara ahí, váyase al baño y déjela encendida para que Insafor vea, oh, anda por el baño, ya regresó. Pero no la, no de, no la apague y, y deje así, solo su nombre, porque eso se toma como falla. Entonces, es requisito que su cámara esté prendida. ¿ya? Por si no me entendió en inglés, se lo digo en español. Es requisito que la cámara esté encendida todo el tiempo. ¿ya? Desde las 8 hasta las 9 de la noche. Para que no le vayan a tomar eso como una falta. Ok, eh, Roberto Carlos, Morena Medina, José Vargas, Adonai Morán, Gloria Mena, eh, Emily Yamilet, Carla Verónica. Uh, para ustedes eh, va ese mensaje, para que prendan las cámaras y no vayan a tener problemas con Insafor. Ok, entonces... Uh, eh, eh, ya las personas que tenían la cámara encendida, pues ya platicamos con ellas, ya vi lo que van a necesitar en su, eh, en su, eh, este aprendizaje, este mes que vamos a estar aprendiendo y eh, vamos a ver muchas áreas del inglés y eh, lo primero que quiero enseñarles es acerca de la pronunciación, la pronunciación es bien importante para que podamos nosotros avanzar y nos podamos sentir bien, por eso es que a veces decimos nosotros no quiero hablar inglés, porque pensamos que nuestra pronunciación está, no está bien. Yes. Eh, a veces decimos, eh, yo cuando oigo a, al teacher hablar, le entiendo perfectamente bien, pero cuando oigo a un norteamericano, no le entiendo nada. Yes. Es por eso, porque el norteamericano, eh, la pronunciación del norteamericano es la, la correcta y la que hemos oído no es la correcta pronunciación. Empezando por las, por las vocales, sí. La, las vocales tienen su, su pronunciación que tenemos que aprender nosotros correctamente. Si no las aprendemos correctamente, eh, leemos las palabras incorrectamente. Por ejemplo, eh, ¿cuántos saben los sonidos de las vocales? ¿Cuántos de ustedes saben los sonidos de las vocales? ¿Quién de ustedes sabe el sonido de las vocales? Hi, teacher. Uh, I have been... Estoy de alfabeto y fonética. Ok. Ok. ¿Y cuál ah, es? No, el... no, no lo sé perfecto, pero sí, creo que la más común es la que se llama Shua, que más cuesta según a veces. Ok. Uh, ese, el, el Shua es, es el sonido soft de, los, de las palabras que se dicen en inglés, pero el sonido de las vocales en sí, el, el sonido de cada vocal, ¿Quién conoce el sonido de cada vocal? Cuando usted lo habla, eh, cuando usted lo transmite ese sonido, acuérdese que un lenguaje es, es sonidos, ya es sonidos. Por ejemplo, Luis Alonso, um, ¿Cuál es el sonido del, del, de la primer vocal? A. ¿Ah? A. A, ¿Verdad? A sería, es el nombre. ¿Todos estamos de acuerdo que ese es el sonido de la primera vocal? ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿Y el segundo sonido de la segunda vocal, cuál es? I. 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 ¿Y el, el tercer sonido de la tercera vocal? I. 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 Oh. I. Uh -huh. eh, Luis Alonso, las vocales solamente. Ah, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. Entonces sería I y el cuarto sonido. Oh. 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 Y el quinto sonido. You. 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 Ok. Eh, vamos a ver. Entonces voy a compartir pan pantalla con ustedes y les voy a explicar algo, ok. Muy importante antes de comenzar. 
Entonces tenemos esto. Y bajen el volumen a la, a la televisión, por favor. Ok, thank you. Ok, entonces, uh, we have the, the, for each uh, letter of the alphabet, we have a name and a sound. Por cada letra del alfabeto, tenemos un nombre y un sonido. Yes. yes. We use the sound to communicate. Usamos los sonidos para comunicarnos. In the name of the letters, we use them to spell out a word. Y el nombre de las letras las, sonamos, las usamos solamente para deletrear. Por ejemplo, usted me dijo que la, esta es una A, ¿verdad? Y esta es una A. I. Yes. Esta es una I. I. Y esta es una O. Y esta es una U. O. U, I. ¿verdad? Pero en inglés, en inglés, rara vez usamos esos nombres. La mayoría de veces usamos el sonido de ellas. ¿Cuál es el sonido? El sonido de la A es la A. El sonido de la E es la E. El sonido de la I es la E. The sound of the O is the A. And the sound of the U is the A. Sí, Luis, Luis Enrique dice, what? Why? He dice, what? ¿De, ¿De dónde viene este teacher? <ríe> sí. Ok, vamos a hacer un ejemplo. Luis Alonso, el maestro, le enseñó que las vocales se las tenía que aprender A, E, I, O, U. Y Luis Alonso vino y se las memorizó todas. Y ya llega bien contento a la escuela y dice, maestro, ya me aprendí las vocales. Dice el maestro, ok, entonces ahora estamos listos ya para empezar a leer, a leer palabras. Y le pone esta palabra a Luis Alonso y Luis Alonso ya, 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 teacher ya, yo la leo, yo la leo, teacher yo la leo, ¿cómo va a leer Luis Alonso esta palabra? Apple no, Apple. no lo va a decir Apple. Apple. tampoco Apple. Apple, Dios le sacó la A Alonso, Luis Alonso nunca aprendió que esa era una A él le dijeron que era una A A Hey. Sí, a él le dijeron que era una A, porque cuando le dijeron aprendete las vocales, le dijeron A-E-I-O-U. Viene su cerebro y él se aprendió de memoria esas vocales y, y viene y va a leer esa palabra. ¿Cómo la va a leer? Apple. Tampoco Apple, porque no aprendió all. Apple. Apple. Correcto, él va a leer Apple ahí, porque eso es lo que le enseñó. Dice el maestro, ¿cómo? ¿Cómo, Luis Alonso? ¿Qué se te ocurre eso? Y Luis Alonso así, ah, ah, oh my goodness, ¿qué hice de malo? Tiche, usted dijo, hey, hey. No, pero ahí no dice, hey, please, ¿de dónde sacas, hey, please? Ahí dice, Apple, y se confundió. Desde oh. ese momento, Luis Alonso dice que el inglés se lee de una forma y se escribe de otra forma. Todo confuso quedó y ya no volvió, ya no volvió otra vez a, a ser voluntario de leer una palabra. Porque no, 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 no. De ahí se, 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 se quedó todo traumado. ¿Qué es lo que pasó? ¿Qué pasó ahí? ¿Hizo algo malo Luis Alonso? No. 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 Le enseñaron mal. Ya. No le enseñaron que eh, nosotros hablamos por sonido, no por, no por nombres. Y viene y entonces conoce otro maestro y le dice a, a, a Luis Alonso, mira Luis Alonso, no, tranquilo. El inglés es lo más fácil que está. Así como tú lo vas a escribir, así lo vas a leer, dependiendo de algunas reglas, después te las voy a enseñar. Y empieza, le dice, mira, esta es una A, y esta es una E, esta es una I, A y A. Oh, sí, de verdad. Oh, ok. Y se, se la enseña y le dice que todas las palabras que terminan en E, Dice Alonso, todas las palabras que terminan en E, every single word that ends in a vowel E, todas las palabras que terminan en una vocal E, la vocal E se elimina y se escucha la última consonante, el sonido de la última consonante. ¿Y cuál es el sonido de la última consonante? Es la U. Uh. 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 Yeah. Uh. Entonces, aquí como va a decir, Apple. Oh. Apple. Apple. ¿Y luego de dónde sale? 
Bien. ¿Ah? ¿Y el sonido de la O de dónde sale? No hay O ahí. No hay, hay una o. L. O. Oiga. De L. Las... ¿Y cómo se hace el sonido de la L? Se, se, hace, se pone la lengua en la punta de a enfrente de los dientes, a la parte de arriba, y se dice L. Y dice Apple. ¿Sí? Apple. Yes. Very good. Apple. Oh, dice, dice Luis Alonso. Ok. Very good. Ya entendí. Entonces, ese es el sonido que yo tengo que emitir cuando yo hablo inglés. Y todo está más fácil. Apple. Vamos a ver otra, dice. Ok. Vamos a ver si entendiste, Luis. Vamos a ver si entendiste, Luis Alonso. Léeme esa palabra. Y viene Luis Alonso y dice, ok, okay dice Luis Alonso, ah, soy listo, mm, hoy, hoy no me equivoco, ¿sí? Dice, teacher, yo, sí, léalo, elefante, oh my goodness, very good, elefante, dice, oh, sí es cierto, así como se, se escucha, oh. se lee, elefante, oh my goodness, teacher, otra, otra palabra, sí, ok, vamos a ver la otra, y... Iguana. Oh my goodness. Iguana. Es cierto. Iguana. Ahí están todas las vocales. Dos A y una I. Iguana. Oh my goodness. Ah, no, dice, pero aquí vamos a ver. Vamos a ver si es cierto. La, la O, ¿cómo va a decir? Ah, no, come on, teacher. No, no, no. Aquí no. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? A ver. A ver, teacher. Vamos a ver. Ok, muy bien. ¿Cómo dice ahí? Mother. No, no dice mother. Ahí dice mother. El norteamericano le va a decir mother. No le va a decir mother. ¿Sí? mother. Usted va a ir al norteamericano y le va a decir mother. Where is your mother? Yes. ¿Por qué? Porque la O él lo dice O. Dice ah, 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 ah. Mother. Ok, ok. Se, se la paso esa ficha. Ya está bien. Pero la U que sea A, ¿cómo? Ok, le dice, vamos a ver, ¿cómo dice ahí? Umbrella. 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 No dice umbrella o umbrella, dice umbrella. 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 Okay. Por eso es que umbrella. cuando las personas ven esto, dicen. Umbrella. Plus. 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 Ahí no dice plus, plus. dice plus, ¿verdad? Plus. plus. Ok. Plus. Entonces, ¿y, y, ¿cómo dice ahí? Up. 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 ¿Se da cuenta? Up. ¿Qué fácil es? ¿Cómo dice aquí? Up. ¿Ve qué fácil Up. es el inglés? Yes. ¿Qué estamos hablando? ¿Qué estamos hablando? Estamos hablando sonido de las letras. El sonido, porque el, el, el language is sounds. Es pure sounds. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a aprender nosotros, los sonidos. ¿sí? Entonces, ya usted va a hablar por medio de sonidos, no por medio de nombres. Apple, elephant, iguana, mother, umbrella, but. ¿Sí? ¿Ya? ¿Estamos ¿Y ahí? ¿Y tú? Teo, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Tú, así. Este uh -huh. es tú. ¿Ok? Tú. Este es tú. ¿Por qué? La regla dice que cuando hay dos vocales juntas, dos O vocales juntas, toman el sonido de U. Ahí dice tú. ¿Sí? ¿Y de con una O? Con una O es tú. ¿To me? To me, yes. Uh -huh. To me. Yes. Ese, es, ese es el sonido que le damos. To me. Hay excepciones a la regla. Entonces, uh -huh. esa es una de las excepciones. Es eso. Por, por ejemplo, <risa> vea, esta es otra excepción. ¿Cómo dice ahí? No. Blue. 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 Entonces, hay veces... Sí, Luis Enrique, dígame. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, I think this... This... This way to... To pronunciation of the vocals... I think we, I, I saw this in another class. And okay. we have a new, a new, a new way for today, but is, do you have any, any, 
any manual or any rules you can send us by by a uh, but by writing so i think we can read this these rules when you when we can solve it by well there, there uh, are actually what uh, um um the only rules are is the sounds of the letters that's all uh, once you learn them um they you will sound natural when you speak when you learn the sounds of the words that's all you need to do is learn the sounds of each letter of the alphabet and that's what we're going to do we're going to go over the 27 letters of the alphabet and, and i'm going to teach you the sounds of them and we will be practicing them yes along with all the rules that i'm going to be uh, able to teach you okay okay why but there is no manual but, there is but, no manual. but but I think it's but I think it's very unless for me and you can send us that rules by chat by by another way we can read them to remember it. Okay, okay. Okay. I can, will write them and I'm gonna send them to you. Okay. Yeah, can you do <laughs> that for us? It, it, I think for for me it's better if, if you send us a in that email that rules that for example is we have that that word two when when two letters o is joined in a word that sound is different that that the vowels right uh -huh. yes uh-huh so yeah, th those are rules. Yes. Yeah. Whenever you you have yes. two all it, together. If if you can if you can send us uh, that rules by chat or by or by emails. Let's I let's, will let's, let's let's write them right now. When uh, there are two, when there are two O's, when there are two O's. Um, together, uh, the sound of it becomes ooh, yeah. When there are two O's together, the sound of it becomes ooh. For example, foot. Tooth. Okay, so that would be the, the rule. You can write it down. Okay. So you, you can have it for your own uh, uh, records. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay. I think I think for each vowel there is a rule. Yeah. You you send us at this moment you send us the rule for letter O. For letter A, I think for letter E, I O. Over U. here, uh, over here e. we have uh, well. What you can do is you can write this one over here. The sound of it. This is only the sound of uh, each vowel, and uh, there is an example for each sound. For each sound, for example, for the a, the sound of the a is a. Ah. So you you say a ah, apple. Yeah. Sound for the e is a elephant. elephant. Yeah, for a a a one. One. For the o a. Ah. Ma Mother. For the U, uh, umbrella. 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 And you practice that way. Yes. Apple, okay. elephant, iguana, mother, umbrella. Yeah. 
-hmm. until, okay, the, thank you. until the sound becomes uh, natural mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the other sound that I want to um, um, I want to show you is this one. How do you read this uh, letter, uh, Miss Alonso? Yesterday. Yesterday, right? Yeah. Yes. A lot of people they read it yesterday. 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 They say yesterday. Yes. Okay. And why? Because yesterday. yesterday. This is this is yesterday. 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 Yes. Yesterday. Yesterday. But yes. the sound of this one is an E, like E1. Yesterday. E1, yes. Like yes. E1. And yesterday. It sounds yesterday. Yes. Yesterday. Yesterday. So the sound mm. of the Y is E, like e. Uh, E1. Yesterday. 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 Yes. So when we said yellow, we say yellow. 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 Very good. Yellow. yellow. Yes. So yellow. when you we say how are you? How are you? How are you? There you go. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? No how are see? It how yes. are you? How are, how, are you? How, are you? how are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? There we go. That sounds good. How are you? Yes. So we avoid the extra sound the how are. See? How are you? No, it's how are you? How are you? How are you? Very good. Yes. You say, how are you, Luis? How are you? Yes. How, how are you, Stella? Are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Yes, there we go. How are you, Estela? Para que no sienta ese temor, diga, how are you? 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 Yes, how are you? How are you? How are you? Very good. And then? Le da el acento, ¿verdad? El stress. How are you? Yes. How are you? Rufino, repita. How are you? 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 No, el you no existe. How are you? 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 Very good. How are you? How are you? Are you? It's different than how are you, verdad? Different than how are you. How are you? No existe, ya. Pero nosotros decimos how are you, ya. No se entiende. Pero cuando dice el norteamericano, how are you? Sí, se ve diferente y se dice. ¿Por qué sigue diferente? Yo digo, how are you? Yes. Y él dice, how are you? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Entonces, eso vamos a ir practicando poco a poco, ¿ok? Excelente. Very good. Entonces, ya tenemos esas reglas. Ahora lo que vamos a, a ver, vamos a, a, a leer una conversación que está aquí. A ver cómo nos va. Eh, tenemos Luis Alonso y... Eh, Rufino Amilcar Luis Alonso va a ser Eric y Rufino va a ser Carmen eh, okay. lo voy a leer yo primero y después ustedes ok, eh, okay. para ver la pronunciación como la vamos a hacer so where are you from Carmen en este caso le va a decir where are you from Rufino y Rufino va a decir I am from San Salvador o oh, I am from uh, Ciudad Delgado, San Salvador. Yes, donde es él. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great. Mm -hmm. And there are some mm -hmm. fantastic are beaches some fantastic just beach. outside the yes. city. Outside the is it expensive it's there? Expensive Le va a decir. 
No, no it's, it's not. not very expensive. Please. No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. Okay. How big is the city? How big is the city? It's a fairly it's big a fairly city, big but city. it's not too big. Not too it sounds big. perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there Maybe sometime. Okay. There's okay. Some time. Very good. Okay. So, where are you from? So, where are you from? Rufino? I'm from Soyapango, San Salvador. Wow. I, I have heard that's oh, a really I nice city. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. The weather is great. And yeah. there are some fantastic beaches yeah. just inside the city. Yes. Is it expensive there? No, it's not. It's very expensive. Price are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? How big is the city? It's a fire big city, but it's not to be. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay, very good. Excellent. I will switch places. Or uh, Rufino, when to start uh, the conversation. Okay. Uh, so, where are you from, Luis Alonso? I am from Chalatenango. Wow, I hear that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it, a pen? Is, is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it is not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I showed Plan a trip there sometime. Okay, very good, excellent. Maybe I should. Maybe I should plan. Maybe I should. I should. And uh, Luis Alonso, prices are prices reasonable. 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 Yes. Aquí este uh, cuando tenemos dos vocales mm. juntas, la otra regla. Cuando tenemos dos vocales juntas. Una, la segunda vocal se omite y la primera vocal obtiene un sonido largo. ¿Cuál es el sonido largo de ella? Es I. Entonces, I. Re re reasonable. 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 Yes, reasonable. reasonable. Yes. Reasonable. No se oye reasonable. ¿eh? Reasonable, no. Reasonable. 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 Yes. Reasonable. Reasonable. Y aquí Reasonable. es prices. 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 Very good. Prices. Very good. Prices. Excelente. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher. Okay. Jenny and Morena Medina, please. So, where are you from, Morena? I am from Santa Ana, Santa Ana. Whoa. I've heard that it's really nice city. Yeah, there is the world in the green and there are some fantastic fish jump outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it is not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. No, como reasonable. 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 Are reasonable. Very good. How big is the city? It is a fairly big city, but is it not, not too big? It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. sometime. Very sometime. good, very good. Solo, uh, Jenny, tengamos cuidado con la, cuando dice, uh, so where are you from? Yeah, where are you from? Where are oh. you? No, you no. Where are you? 
Where are you from? Where are you from? Please Very know. good, excellent. Okay. okay, now switch places, please. Okay. Yes, so, where are you from? Yes. Ay, ¿cómo se llama ella? Eh, her name Jenny. is Jenny. Her name is Jenny. Yes. So, where are you from, Jenny? I'm from Soyapango, San Salvador. Wow. I heard, I heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, is great, and there are some fan, some fantastic beaches just outside the city. It is expensive there. No, it's not very expensive. Prices are very reasonable. So what be, how big is that city? It is a very big city, but it's not too big. I sound perfect to me. Maybe I saw play a treat there at some time. I should. I should. I should. I should, try I should plan a trip there. there. Very good. That's so time. Very good. Overall, very good. Very good. Good job, Morena. Good job, uh, Jenny. Good job. Thanks, but, teacher. But you're welcome. Patricia and uh, Stella, please. So where are you from, Stella? I'm from San Salvador. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah. Yeah, it is. The water is, is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? Yeah. No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. Are pretty how, how big is the city? It's a very big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometimes. Okay, maybe I should. I should. Maybe I should. I should Maybe plan a trip there. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Now switch places. ¿Cuál es el nombre de ella? Patty. Where are you from, Patty? I'm from Lourdes, La Libertad. Wow. I heard that really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it is not very expensive. Price are pretty reason reasonable. Reasonable. How big is the city? Reasonable. Okay. It's a fairly big city. City, but it's not it's too big. perfect. To me. Maybe I so so plan a trip there sometime. Let him finish. <laughs> she doesn't let you finish. Huh? Okay, very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Claudia Iraeta and Tatiana play test, please. <laughs> So where are you from, Carmen? Uh, I'm from La Libertad. La Libertad. Wow, I have heard that's a really nice city. Yes, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic people just outside the city. Is it there? Uh, no, it's not very expensive. I thought it's pretty reasonable. How big is the city? Uh, it's a very big city, but it's not too big. It's perfect to me. Maybe I should play a trip. Very good. Now let's switch places. Where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. 
I heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. Weather is great, and there are some exhibitions. It is expensive there. No, it's not very expensive. But it's a um, very reasonable. How big is the city? It's a very big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan to a trip there sometime. <laughs> I Very should. good. How you yeah. should play it. I should plan a trip there sometime. Very yeah, good. Excellent. Uh, Rodrigo, Ernesto, yeah, who wants to try it? Uh, let's see. Okay. And uh, Alba Saavedra. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. So, so where are you from, Alba? I'm from San Salvador. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should play a trip there sometime. I should play there. Okay. <laughs> okay, switch places. Okay. So where are you from, so Rodrigo? From, I'm from Soyapango, okay. San Salvador. Wow. wow. I heard that that is a really nice city. I heard that it's really nice city. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yes, the the weather is great, mm -hmm. and there are some yeah, fantastic so beaches fantastic just outside the city. The city. Is, is it expensive there? No, it's no, not very not expensive. Very expensive. Prices, Prices are very are reasonable. reasonable. How big is how is the city? It's a fairly big city, it's fairly but big it's not too big. It's not it sounds it's perfect to me. Maybe, Maybe I should I plan a trip there sometimes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, um, Gabriela Cortez. Y Luis Enrique. Carmen, bueno. Sí, Gabriela Cortés. So where are you from? Luis I am from San Salvador, San Salvador. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is, and there are some fantastic yeah. beaches just fantastic. outside the city. It is expensive there. No, it is not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not. Sounds perfect to me. Maybe I shouldn't plan at there sometime. Very good. Now switch places, please. Okay. I will be Eric. So where are you from, Carmen? So where are you from? I'm from Mexicano, San Salvador. Wow. I heard, I heard a really nice that city. a really nice city. Yeah. 
It is. The water is great, and there are some fantastic things that side it. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are very reasonable. Reasonable. How big, how big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's no too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay, Thank very good. Excellent. Good job. Excellent. Good job to all of you. Very good. I don't want to take more of your time. It's uh, it's nine oh five. Time flies when you're having fun, right? So, eh, tiempo vuela cuando se está divirtiendo ustedes. Es que no quiero tomarle más su tiempo. Son las nueve y cinco ya. Uh, thank you for your participation. Uh, we're doing the right thing right now. Uh, we're practicing our reading and our pronunciation. And uh, I bet you, you guys gonna become a good uh, English speakers. Very good, excellent, good job. Good night, and I see you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Thank you. Good see night. you tomorrow, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.